Hello, and welcome back, finally, to the next B's and T's stitching. Yay! I'm finally back. Um, so, yeah, I've been down in Florida for a bit, but I'm back here, so, yay. It's not as oppressively hot. I just, you know, it's October. I really was not expecting to have temperatures in the 80s in Florida. I know, I know, I'm an idiot, because it's Florida. But, still... It wasn't even South Florida. It was West Florida. So, um, yeah. Anyway. Whatever. So, welcome back. I'm your host. And, um, welcome back to all of the, um, all of my regulars. And welcome to any, any new guys or gals here. Um, we are up to 145, uh, subscribers. Um, I'm still wanting to do something at 150. So, you know, and I, I'm pretty sure that there are some watch, long-time watchers that have not subscribed, so please. I know, I can't make you, and I'm not going to guilt anybody, but it would be really awesome. Um, it, it, it does actually help me out. Um, I don't make any money, that's not the point. Um, it's just, you know, it, it helps me get a little bit more exposure, and um, hopefully more people watch and like. But, anyway... So, um, uh, so I guess I will get into the, um, um, opening, as a life updates, all that good stuff. Um, as I said last, uh, two weeks ago, gosh, two weeks, um, I went down to, um, Pensacola, Florida, um, to, uh, hang out with my in-laws, which I do like, um, you know, my husband doesn't watch this, so I don't have to be nice. I really do like them. Um, and as always, um, they always do one big get together, uh, while we're down there and it's, it's crazy. It's like, I don't know, it's like 12, 16, 18 people. I don't know, a lot of kids and it's really crazy and I love them to death, but it's, it's a lot. So <laughs> that leaves you a little, uh, a little drained afterwards. Um, but it was, it was fun. We had a big taco bar and, you know, just sat and talked and, it was nice. Uh, you know, I went to all the places in Pensacola I like. There's a used bookstore and a, um, um, a kind of a, best way to put it, I guess like a, it's not a world market because it, it's a local thing. Um, but they carry like kind of foods and uh, beers and stuff from all around the world. Uh, sadly, it's under new ma management and I don't like the new one, but, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff, um, which, some of which I will show you. Um, it was not a big stitching week. Uh, it was a good week for haul. Not all of it, um, not all of it was stitchy stuff. Um, I, there was one time I went down there maybe two years ago that I got, like, a crap load of, um, of stitchy stuff from all the different, um, um, went to some thrift stores and went to some, uh, antique stores and I just got hoops and magazines and just all sorts of awesome stuff. Um, the last two times I've gone have not been nearly as um, uh, productive stitchy wise, but I did I did find a couple things. Um, all right, so I guess that's really about it. I'm back home, you know, and that's about it. It's a little nicer here. Um, we still haven't decided whether we're going to. Um, actually decorate for Halloween or not. We are going to give out candy, but um, I don't know if we're going to give out, if we're going to decorate much. Um, so, you guys saw a couple weeks ago, I had a Sip Spy box. So, uh, today, I have Black Current Burst, which is one of the teas. This is the first tea I'm trying from it. Uh, and this is a cha color change spoon, but it's supposed to color change with cold, so it's not color changing. But anyway, so... Oh, that's good. Ahmad is a tea that I've had before. I think I have a a peach tea from them that I've actually been on here before. But this is really good. It's very strong blackberry taste. Which is what I like. Oh, that's good. That's very, very good. Mm. All right. Well, I am I am liking that. Uh, and I seem to be... Come on. Focus. Okay, I think... Uh, all right. If I'm a little out of focus, I apologize. I don't know what's, um, I think I'm okay. 
All right, so let me go ahead and get to the emails. Um, not a ton of emails, which is fine. You yeah, know, um, I always love them, but, um, you know, uh, whoever wants to email me, I always respond. And um, so, yeah. Um, all right, so first is um, uh, DLN. Um, she said, I lo or they said, I love the cat judging you. Uh, I just finished a cup of organic chamomile. Um, she's a cat. She's always judging me. She's over here to the side, um, out the window, looking out the window, because I just, uh, I open the curtains so I can get some natural light, and she loves it. It's, it's her HDTV, so. Um, but yeah, she's always judging me. Um, the organic chamomile, that sounds like that would really be good in, um, helping you get to sleep. Um, so, you know, maybe I need to try it. <laughs> Um, so Healing Gamer said, um, isn't your shirt a Game Zone for reference? Uh, I just started watching them because you recommended them. Awesome. Um, yes, it was. So we can be best friends because, yes, it was a Game Zone reference. And actually, uh, this week's, I think I've worn this one before, is as well. Let's see if I can get this up here. Spoofy! Yeah, and if you get that, you're, you're also my best friend. Um, alright, so, uh, yes, yeah, so it is a Game Zone reference. Um... She uh, they also said, I uh, love all your needle minders. I only have three so far. Um, be careful. They're like Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop. Yes. I know. I'm an 80s kid. Um, they're really very addictive, but they're really very awesome. And I know people who get um, um, needle minders for specific projects. I don't tend to do that. Um, I, I wish I could say that I, I kind of themed them and... I have sometimes, but I don't go out of my way to move them around just to theme them. So sometimes it's just random. Um, thank you. My cat is is gorgeous. She's she's a pain. Um, I think she's in the middle of kind of shedding her summer coat and getting her thick winter coat in. So even more hair than usual around the house. Always fun. Um, <clears throat> and um. You talked about um, you talked about getting a blueberry tea. Do you know the name of the company or the name of the store you got it from? Because I love blueberry teas, and I would love to try a new blueberry tea. So if you do, please write me back. Um. All right. So let's see. Uh, marzipan citrus. Um, chai is lovely. White tea with peach is lovely too. Um, I am willing to try a white tea with peach. Um, I've never tried a white, white tea as far as I know before. Um, sorry, I keep messing with my hair. Um, so, you know, again, if, if you have a, a company name or where you got it from, I would really appreciate it because I will give it a try. Um, also talking about my Don't Blink, um, needle minder. Let me grab it over here. There we go. Wait. There we go. This one right here. Um, they were talking about, uh, that, that episode, um, Blink from Doctor Who is what it's called, <laughs> gave, gave them nightmares. Um, it's a pretty scary episode. Um, I, I don't like jump scares, and there are jump scares in it, but I still love it. Um, they asked what my favorite episode is, and have I seen Torchwood? I have not seen Torchwood. I'm still way behind on, um, on the regular episodes, so I need to get through them first. Um... A couple I really like, the Lazarus, Lazarus Experiment. The CGI is kind of crappy, but I, I love the story. Um, dinosaurs on a spaceship. I think Lazarus Experiment was a tenant. Dinosaurs on a spaceship, I'm 99% sure was Matt Smith. Um, also, the anniversary one, which is, I think it's called The Day of the Doctors. It's the one that um, has David Tennant and Matt Smith and John Hurt as the War Doctor. Uh, and it also has um, Billy Piper comes back as as uh, Bad Wolf. Uh, and there's also a cameo at the end, which I won't say um, if you haven't seen it. I mean, you know, unless you're a Doctor Who fan, it wouldn't really matter. But anyway, it's a cool, it's a cool uh, cameo at the end. So, um... Itchy Generals, which is a really interesting name. Um, so Cacao in the Philippines is really good. Um, and I I don't know where the cacao um, that I got um, in the Sips by Box is from, but I'm looking forward to trying it. 
Um, and they asked if you only sip it. It's like, yeah, I, yeah, I do only sip it. I, I want it to last as, as long as I can. So, you know, that's why I sip it. And also because right now, at least, it's hot. So, but I will drink it once it gets cold. I don't care about that. All right, so, um, go on to stitching here. Um, since I don't have a lot of stitching, but I have a lot of haul, it's probably going to be maybe a little bit shorter than usual, but we'll see. Um, no finishes, no FFOs. Um, I think I already showed you the, um, the little lightning bolts that I finished a few weeks ago. So, um, so I have not worked a lot, but I've worked a little bit on a couple so this is Frankenstein. They are now out with the third part of four. Hold on, sorry. Get that. There we go. Get that out of the way here. Um, and so I am way the hell behind. All of these, um, <clears throat> all of these areas have now been um, filled out. Um, so I'm yeah way behind, but I'm getting there. I'm working up on the. Um, um, here we go. Whoop. Up in the corner. I'm about to make the turn here. So, uh, if I just put some time into it, I can get it. It's not, it, it's not hard stitching. Whoops. Uh, it's not hard stitching. It's just, um, I, I just need to actually sit down and do it. And the cool gear on bees bag that it's in. I know. It doesn't make any sense. And then also, the second one I'm doing, which is in my super duper cool, um, um, Vicky... Uh, stitch a button uh, bag which again is Halloween which has nothing to do with what's in it but um, and again there's the lightning bolt that I finished because it's on the same piece of fabric which I've never done before so this is the good old um, Hamilton and Jefferson and Madison and Washington and Burr I think it's just called Ham and Jeff and Mad or something like that or Ham and Jeff something like that but anyway um, so I'm getting a little bit more of Madison done uh, that's really about it for that one. And it's it's really easy. It's very, you know, you don't have to think about it stitching. So um, it goes pretty quick. I, again, I just haven't had much time. You know, I was packing to leave and then I left and I did take this with me, but I didn't, I didn't end up stitching a bit, not one stitch. Um, unfortunately, when if I tried to stitch in the car, I kind of get, kind of get dizzy. Not really nauseous. But just kind of dizzy and headachey, so it doesn't really work in Porto, which sucks. All right, so what I'm going to do is put my tea over to the side for a minute, so I don't spill on anything. And I'll do tell you what. So I'm going to do some uh, haul now. Um, I'll make you wait on the um, sit y'all. <laughs> no, um, uh, I forgot one thing. Shoot. I apologize. Hold on. Alright. I very much apologize for that. So I do not usually get up. But um I got a loot crate, I think it was. Um and it was like um I think it was like maybe sci-fi themed. And so um a couple of things I got and I'll just go with these real quick because it's not stitchy. Uh, I got a DeLorean. It's a 35th anniversary DeLorean keychain. The wheels actually move, which is kind of cool. And also, see if I can make this work on video. Oh, it's not going to work on video. Is this lenticular? So, if you guys remember Back to the Future where you have the picture where it's um, just, um, just Marty McFly and then his... his brother and sister go away because he's changing time they actually are over here but <laughs> unfortunately yep the camera is not catching it so i apologize but it's a cool lenticular so those are kind of cool the uh last thing i got from this which is really the reason i wanted it because you know my weird obsession with dr strange very cool dr strange t-shirt there you go with the eye of agamotto and the uh and dr strange being all weird and magic here over there so um also in um pensacola is about maybe 45 minutes an hour away from Foley, alabama um and 
Foley, Alabama is a kind of a touristy sort of beach spot, but they also have a really cool um, restaurant called Lambert's, which there's a couple more uh, around the U.S. I think there's a couple maybe in Missouri, um, but their big thing is that they they throw rolls at you. Well, they also it's like a it's a really nice kind of down home country sort of place where they come around with food that they literally just like slap on your on your plate. Um, uh, in addition to whatever you order. And they also have rolls that they throw at you. So, and no, this is not a but. Okay. Um, there we go. Lambert's Cafe. There we go. Uh, Sykeston, Missouri. Ozark, Missouri. And Foley, Alabama. So there you go. Um, but it's a, a buns. It's a squeeze bun, which is just awesome. I don't think I'm really going to use it as a squeeze bun. I think I'm just going to randomly throw it at my husband sometimes maybe at my cat i don't know should i throw it at my cat nah she looks pretty comfy so anyway so yeah that's the third roll um and oh i'm sorry and this also i don't know what this is from so if anybody can tell me it was in the loot crate it's a wolf in a car so of course my husband has to get that because he loves wolves so uh that's that's his but I don't know what it's from, so, but, uh, yeah, so that was, um, that was that, um, also because, you know, I'm six years old and I think this is funny, um, I actually have the wax as well, so I boogie board a little bit whenever I can get to a beach, um, this is wax that you can put on a surfboard or a boogie board to, um, uh, keep you, keep you gripped on there, so, and yes, it is called sex wax. It's the best for your stick. Because, like I said, I'm six years old and it's funny. This is grape flavored, as you can tell, because I love everything grape. And uh, it's a car freshener. And um, the last time that I went to Pensacola, um, I got one of these and it lasted months. I wish, I wish you guys had smell vision. Just the, the smell is amazing. It makes your car smell like, ah, uh, smells like grape wax. Um, the last non stitchy thing, I promise. Um, apparently my brother and his family, um, went to Disney, and, and all I got was a silly souvenir now. Um, he brought my husband and I back little Stitch Max, because, you know, you have to have masks now, and might as well make them cute. So now, obviously, I haven't used them yet. But Stitch Mask. Okay. Alright, so, that's the last non stitchy thing, I promise. Um, so let's go with, um, the stuff I found in, um, like, uh, I don't think we actually went to any thrift stores this year. We did go to a few, um, of the same, um, um, like, like kind of indoor, almost flea markety sort of, um, um, uh, what are they called? Um, like, uh, antique stores. And, um, so I didn't have a whole lot of luck. There was some stitchy stuff I didn't get, uh, in a couple of them, just because some of them were magazines I weren't interested in. Um, and there was actually a bunch of stitching, and there were some Lizzie Cates, but the prices weren't really all that great. Um, uh, so the only one I grabbed was this Just Nan, which I've never done a Just Nan. Uh, apparently there was a place called Needle Delights. It's an 850 number, so that means either it was, um... Pensacola or somewhere over towards Tallahassee. That's uh that's all eight five zero. So I don't know where specifically in Florida this was, um, but it's called Horrified. Uh, wow, that is okay. There we go. That's the better. The Whimsy Limited Edition. It actually has a little um. Is that a pin? No, that's just part of the uh, frame there. But anyway, it has a little frame back there, so um, it actually fits in there. Um, I don't know if there's fabric, so, um, or if it tells you what fabric you need. This definitely looks like it's, well, yeah, that's probably some sort of, um, um, not Ada. <laughs> so I will have to, I'll have to figure that out. I have, as you can tell, I haven't even opened it yet. So, uh, the other couple of things. Like I said, there was, um, 
I, there was a bunch of magazines I didn't get that I wasn't all that interested in, but um, I did get uh, three leisure arts magazines. This is uh, October of 93. Got a cute little duck on the cover. And August of 93, which, yeah, you gotta love those chicken shirt, because... No. And December of 93. There we go. And uh, I'm in your house stealing your toys. No. But, uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, also, I went to um, Barnes & Noble, because, you know, I don't have a Barnes & Noble here. Yes, I do. Um, but I saw several things... And I, I don't think I've ever picked up a, a punchy note from your Stitcher before. Not because I don't like it, not because, um, but because I didn't ever see enough of um, cross stitch. Because I don't, I don't do punchy note. I don't really want to start. Um, but I've never seen enough cross stitch to justify. But this one had several things that I really liked in it. Uh, is that no? That's a punch needle. This is one of them uh, up here in the corner. That's pretty cool. I, you know, I used to say that I'm not really a primitive stitcher, but I'm starting to wonder. I'm, I'm sort of kind of starting to like primitive stitching. Some. Some of it. Not all of it. So, Society for St. Vincent de Paul. Okay, I guess that must have been one of the places we went. Okay, anyway. Oh. <coughs> also a couple of buttons. A stitch. Because, you know, I don't like stitch at all. And, um, if you know this one, no. Uh, if you know this one, I do love you. But, no, this is, um, the alchemic symbol from, um, Full Metal Alchemist. Which is an anime which I really love. Okay, finally the stitching, I swear to God. Um, so really it's only one thing, but it's one really big cool thing. So, well, let's not show my address, shall we? First off... It's a cat in a witch's hat. Tell me that's not the cutest thing. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I want to keep this. I don't know how, but I really want to keep this because that's freaking adorable. Look at it. Cat in a witch's hat. Can I put you in a witch's hat? Yeah, she's ignoring me right now. Okay. As cats are also want to do. So, um, what happened is Lindy Stitches had, or Stephanie uh, from Lindy Stitches, had a, um, um, package deal um with one of her patterns and um i forgot who made the bag sorry um and so uh, it was a whole package deal and she's done these packages before like the like the blue for the booby which unfortunately i did not get to in time surprisingly i actually got to this one in time so i'm so happy about that the bag itself is really cool look at this it's got ravens or blackbirds with crowns, which is very appropriate to the um, to the pattern, which I'll show. Oh, wait, hold on. It's, oh, the 8 of 5 stitcher. Well, there you go. Ta-da! 8 of 5 stitcher. So, and then I will get to the front here. So, let me open this bad boy up. And I just want you to know, I've been staring at these. This came the day after I got back, which was Tuesday? Um, and I've been staring at these for like four days now, so she put in a couple of espresso candies, which I'm dying to try, but I didn't. I was good. Um, also, and I, I don't finish things, so I'm going to keep it, obviously, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But uh, Lady Duck Creates Licorice um, Trim, which is really pretty. It's just kind of nice gray grayish sort of black, which is not showing up, unfortunately, but it's really pretty. Um, I would like to think that I would, um, figure out how to use it. Um, there's a little, a little, um, sticker, which is awesome. I've never used one of these before. Um, I love the design and it is a sticker. You can see on the back, it's got the uh, little thingies and, um, I'm not going to show the free pattern, but there's a cute little, oh, there we go. Well, that shows the, it shows what, what it is. Cute little mouse. That it was a little free, uh, a little free thingy, and a thank you, which is awesome. So, and the last two things. Oh, um, if you didn't see it before, the it's a very pretty kind of a basic gold and golden autumn red uh, background in there. So, and I love how she has all these uh, threads. Oh my 
Oh, these threads. Beautiful. It's very autumn-y. Look at this. We've got we've got a browns and kind of a couple of shades of orange. There's a purple and a black back here. The clockwork, curry, amber, cinnamon twist, arrowhead, molasses, and concord. A concord is a grape. And these are all weeks. So, oh my god, these colors are ah, beautiful. And I guess that's enough to do all three of these. I don't know. But these are the three. Autumn Royalty. So, we have... Okay, well... well there we go. All right. We have the Count of Candy, the Prince of Pies, and the Lord of Gourds. All of which I just love. So, we've got a... A funky little owl with his head going, eh. and we've got a a raven, and looks like a white winged blackbird. I believe it is. I believe that's what they're called, or a um. What did she call it? It wasn't a white winged blackbird. Hmm, I don't remember. But if you watch her, um, she put up a new episode of her floss tube, and she she talked about this. So she's better at it than me. So, yeah, just, oh, this whole package is wonderful. And I think since it's October, if I get one started this month, I'm probably going to do the Count of Candy. But uh, I do want to finish a couple of things. That would be really nice. So I may not get these finished. I may not get these started before, uh, before uh, Halloween. Probably not in all honesty. So, yeah all this good stuff back in here except for the candy because yeah that's getting it <laughs> all right um so that's all like i said that was a pretty good haul um a lot of it was not specifically um stitching but still interesting stuff all right i to put all my stuff to the side here there we go all right cool and my sex wax because <laughs> I'm perpetually six years old, like I said. All right. All right. Um, so I think we just have the of the weeks and the B fact, and I think we're all right. Oh, oh man. Okay. I'm just going to say it again. If you guys like tea and if you guys like um, kind of fruity teas, this is freaking amazing. I am... I might have to start looking into some more mod teas because I, they're two for two in my book right now. So, of course, I have two billion teas. You guys saw it in my in my tea stash. Um, so, yeah. but uh, So, I need to get rid of some first, but I definitely want to keep them on the back burner. Um, all right. So, um, the floss tube of the week. Um, and again, I am sorry if I, I redo some of these from before because of computer crash. Um, but Laura X Stitches, um, she is from Australia. I want to say it was New Zealand, but no, I'm 99% sure she's from Australia, not New Zealand. Um, and she's, she doesn't do them every week. It's usually maybe every two, two to four weeks. Um, so, you know, she doesn't have, she, she's not the, the most prolific, but, um, she does some really, really pretty stuff. Um. Uh, again, not things that I would usually do, but I really like seeing her progress in what she's doing. So I would definitely recommend her. Um, for the Stitchy website, um, once again, I'm going to go back to Etsy. So I'm going to go to uh, Rocking Horse CS. It's a little hard to explain exactly what they have. It's a lot of very <coughs> interesting, very colorful um Cross stitches, you know, where they'll have like a design, but it'll be almost kind of fractally with colors, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, and she's got it, or I guess they have everything from um, uh, Abe Lincoln to a human heart to like animals. And there's even things like, you know, uh, other things like, you know, um, like birth announcements and things like that. So it's a little bit of everything. It's really nice. And, um, you know, so it's, it's some nerdy stuff and uh, some nice stuff, but it's really cool. So it's definitely worth looking at. Um, for the non stitchy website, oh, because we're getting close to the, um, B1, I am back to my 
the mug. I love this thing. It's unfortunately stained, um, so it looks like it's dirty, but it's really not. It's just tea stains that just stained, and I can't get them out. So, you know, it gives it the lived-in look. Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, but anyway, so the um, the non tissue website, um, Albanese Candy, um, they're kind of they do like higher end. Um, gummy bears and other sort of things. So they do kind of like the gourmet gummy bears, I guess you'd call them. Um, and they have, you know, kind of the cool flavors like pear and grape. Grape, of course. Um, you know, and um, blue raspberry. And, you know, those kind of flavors that you don't usually get in gummy bears. Um, and so apparently you can get them in like in individual colors. So I could get like just a pound of grape gummy bears, which I'm going to eventually. Uh, not right now, but I will. So, uh, yeah, so that's kind of cool. Um, I guess the last one is going to be a B fact. Um, and I don't think I've said this one before, but if I did, again, I apologize. Um, if the queen bee dies, the workers will create a new queen by selecting a young larva, uh, the newly hatched baby insects, and feeding a special food called royal jelly. This enables the larva to develop into a fertile queen, which is really kind of crazy if you think about it. I mean, I just, I don't know how that works. That's really neat. Science is kind of cool sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> uh, hopefully I haven't been talking too fast. If I have, I'm sorry. Uh, tell me if I have. Um, you know, I definitely need to know what's going on. So, you know, I mean, obviously any sort of con constructive criticism I'm always up for. Um, but I guess that's about it right now. So it is a bit shorter. Um, not for lack of stuff, but maybe for lack of, um, stitching. But my stitchy bug isn't gone. I promise. It's, it's a little dormant, but it's not, it's not like totally gone. Um, just because a lot of things have been going on. Yeah. But anyway, so, um, I'm hoping that maybe this week... I really, really want to finish one of those two, either the uh, Hamilton or the Frankenstein. More likely the Hamilton, because the Frankenstein has a lot to go. But um, I was really hoping to finish the Hamilton actually last month, um, and it's the 16th. So if I, sorry, there we go. All right, so I think if, um, if I really buckle down, I think I can finish it. Um, I'm not quite halfway there, I guess. I guess Madison would be about halfway. Um, so, yeah, um, try to get that done, and who knows, maybe in the next, uh, episode or two I can show you a finish. <sighs> so, um, yeah, so I guess that's about it. Um, Stitch happy, yay! No, um, you know, definitely uh, like, subscribe. Like I said, I'm, I'm hoping to get to 150. I'm so close, so close. You know, if I can get to 150 before next episode, I'll, you know, I'll get something together. I'm not sure what yet, but um, um, maybe, maybe I can try to work on it this week and give you guys a kind of a preview. Maybe that'll, um, uh, maybe that'll encourage people to, um, uh. uh to um, subscribe and get to that 150. So I'll see what I can do. Maybe I can put something together this week. <sighs> well, that uh, starting to get cool, but still good. It's just that nice shade of warm when it's not too hot to drink, but it's not like super cold. Mm. Perfect tea flavor. Anyway, all right. So I will talk to all you guys later. Bye.